What's up, people? So in this lockdown madness, one of the areas I notice has been affected most strongly in my life is health and fitness. Specifically, the gym is locked. So, uh, so I have to replace that with something, some other form of exercise that I can actually do even inside my own apartment or in the park and with very, very limited equipment. Now, my particular goal has been very dependent on the gym because I've been interested in developing my body and growing my muscles, which is known as hypertrophy or hypertrophy, depending on which part of the world you're from. And the idea means to grow, to grow those muscles. And the problem is that in order to do that, the optimal exercise design is fairly heavy weights so that you can only do repetitions in an exercise between say 8 and 12. That would be the optimal range for hypertrophy. The problem is that most exercises outside of the gym, running, press-ups, sit-ups, uh, even pull-ups once you're conditioned for them, and most other body weight exercises tend towards a higher rep count very quickly which means that instead of developing uh, hypertrophy, you're developing endurance. You're developing uh, the ability for your muscles to go for a long period of time. Now it has cardiovascular benefit, and that's not bad, but it is a different kind of training which will result in a different kind of physical adaptation. So one of the things I wanted to do was to pull together some exercises for our group, for our guys, for myself, that allow us to uh, pick and choose and build something that works. Now I've got two exercises here that I'm going to show you. One, if you go to the Brojo page, you will find this exercise by Jeff Cavalier, which is the perfect home workout. Jeff does, he runs AthleanX, which is a fantastic science-based YouTube channel. Both he and Jeff Nippard who runs a different YouTube channel are two of my favorites for following and learning about exercises. Now, most of the work tends to be about the gym. However, this video, if you search for the perfect home workout on YouTube on Athlean X, you will find an incredible routine. However, this routine is not really focused on hypertrophy. So while I am doing it about twice a week right now, it is you're going to do higher reps. The way that routine is designed is to do a particular exercise for a set period of time. So you might do uh, deep lunge squats for 60 seconds rather than aiming for some kind of maximum weight, some sort of maximum muscular tension that limits you to a maximum of, say, 12 reps. So what I wanted to talk about was a different approach. Now, this different approach has been pulled together from a number of different resources. We have a couple of great and very knowledgeable experts in Brojo who have helped a lot in pulling this together. And you should click the Contributors tab. I'm going to share this worksheet in the comments below, so feel free to dive in and have a look and have some fun. The contributors here, you can see Fred Lundjevich, who's written a book on calisthenics, and Ian Greaves, who has an enormous amount of knowledge as well on greasing the groove and on training for body weight fitness, training joints, training exercises, training for strength. So I've learned a lot from these guys as well as from the... Uh, from the videos that I've been watching and digging into. Now I want to go through this pattern of exercises is something that you can do and develop on your own. But there's a basic principle here, which is that uh, first of all, it breaks the body into about seven different areas of movement. You could think of it as front pushing exercises, pulling exercises, pulling down, uh, you can think of it as core and leg exercises, both front and backs of the legs. Now those exercises are horizontal push, pushing exercises, pulling exercises, horizontal pull, vertical push, flexion, vertical push extension. Now this is when the elbows are behind the body, so it would be like a tricep extension that you might do on some dip bars. Uh, vertical pull, which would be like chin-ups and lats, and you've got squats you've got hip hinge thrust, and you've got core hinge. So you've got a range of different groups. 
Now for each of these seven different areas of the body, I like that division because it allows us to group the exercises together so that you're focused on particular muscles such as glutes or hamstrings or pectorals, biceps, triceps, delts, and so on, deltoids outside your, your shoulders here. Now if you look at the way that these are structured, you'll see that there's a series of exercises listed and they each have a rating from one to 10. Now that is intended to be a rough approximation of a difficulty rating. So the idea is your target is to hit somewhere between eight and 12 reps. If you do one of these exercises, let's try flat press ups, and you find that too easy, meaning you're easily able to do 15, 18, 20, 30 reps, then you want to increase the difficulty and try something harder. If you find it too difficult, meaning you can only do five reps, you may want to go a little bit easier and so that you can hit that eight to 12 rep range. Every one of these exercises has a rating and almost all of them have a video clip that will take you straight to, to view that exercise. Now these usually link inside of a larger video. So what you can do from the Google Sheet I did this in the Google Sheet because I wanted it to be very dynamic and something that our group could uh, contribute to collaboratively. But let's say I want to do diamond hand press-ups. I can click on that link there and it will immediately come up with a YouTube video in that We're going to change our hand positioning. And Bring there that are the side, diamond, diamond press-ups. Now these are quite difficult and you hit the pectorals quite strongly and as well as the triceps. Now the exercises that I picked for the most part require no equipment at all. They require a wall, they require a floor, maybe a chair or two chairs or a table. However, as you get more advanced or you wanna hit different angles, there are very basic bits of equipment that you can use that uh, will make things much, much more effective. Simple ones, a rope, a short length of rope, like a two meters would be perfect. Toss it over a tree branch and do pull-ups or if you have a TRX, that is a fantastic piece of equipment for this type of purpose. You can even use a towel. Now, if you're in an apartment where you do not have anything that you can anchor over the top that will support you, what you might, you could probably even use like an open door and just toss it over the top and pull. But what I was going to suggest is one of my favorite techniques is to open a door and use the doorknobs on the sides. You can wrap the towel around the edge of the door, around the doorknobs, and it will create a very solid anchor. If you then bend over, you can do all sorts of different rows. Now, I may do a video on creative ways to use the very limited environment of your home to, uh, to achieve some of these different angles and to create that stress. But I'll leave that primarily for you to experiment with. Just get very creative on what you can use. You'll see in the more advanced exercises here, some of them do start to use equipment. So for example, one of the more common things that you'll see is rings, which look like this. Harder. So guys, if you don't use a pair of rings, I highly suggest you get some because they're gonna- And honestly, watching the number of exercises and the range of exercises that can be done, I wish I had a set. And this is one of the first things I wanna get as soon as lockdown is over. And so I'm quite, I'm quite excited about that actually. There are other bits of equipment you will find as well. Uh, let me see, this is horizontal pull, free handstand press. I'm gonna go to some of the more interesting pike pull-ups vertical pull squats, hip hinge, barbell deadlift, dry. Let's, let's go for example for balanced leg raises, which uses a Start tool called a trainings. piquette. Now, piquettes can be very low to the ground. This is a much taller one, but it offers the added benefit that you can lay under it, wrap your hands around it, and use it for pull-ups, for lat exercises. Now, you can do a lot of different versatility with this. Also, the fact that it's cl got clearance from the ground means that you can do different manipulations. Now, if I show you a little bit more in this video, you'll see this is a lower version. And even though he's close to the ground, he's able to do some very complex inversions. Now, this is much more advanced type routines. These are much more towards the 10 end of the spectrum. But that's the goal. The goal is to develop yourself so that your strength, your versatility, your flexibility, your balance are all working together to allow you to achieve those harder progressions in each of the exercises. 
without further ado, I'll leave this for you guys to have some fun, dig around in there, play with the different exercises. If you see any exercises missing, do send me a video link. If you're not aware, if you are watching a YouTube video and you right click on it, you can see copy video URL at current time. Simply click that, it will copy to your clipboard a URL that looks a little bit like this. You'll see it has the T equals 855. That basically says start at 855 seconds into the video. For longer videos, that number can be quite large. Uh, if you send me that and say, hey, this, this exercise would be a great addition for this muscle group, pass it along to me. And if you happen to be an expert who would like to contribute a bunch of exercises, I can give you editor access. Do let me know and I would love to add you in. In any case, make sure you're doing some kind of home fitness. One of the things I have discovered personally around fitness, which is why it is such a fundamental part of what I consider to be self-development, is that it has an enormous impact on me psychologically and emotionally. If I do not exercise, my cortisol levels, my stress will rise dramatically. If I do not exercise, I will find that my serotonin is quite low and I can feel and easily feel a sense of depression. In this time of lockdown, you do not want to find yourself in that state. Get some exercise any way you can. Jog around the house, press ups, sit ups, press ups, sit ups, burpees, whatever. Just do something. Um, it's going to be very, very important for you to not just survive the lockdown, but thrive through it. Good luck.